standing for the presentation of colors by the Fort Campbell 101st Military Honor Guard and for the singing of our national anthem by Janet Level, HCC Youth Workforce Co Coordinator. Honor Guard, please present the colors. Honor Guard, please retire the colors. Please remain standing as our opening invocation is led by Pastor Roland Butler III, Princeton Street Baptist Church, Crofton. I also ask that you keep the family of Butch Hardison in your thoughts and prayers this evening. Butch, who passed away last week after battling illness, has been a fixture at the soundboard in the back of the room at HCC's annual commencement ceremony for well over a decade. We are thankful for his outstanding service to HCC and our community. He will be missed. Everyone, please bow. Let us pray. Our Father and our God of mercy and grace, we're so thankful for all the many blessings granted to each of our lives. This evening, we invite your presence into this place as family, friends, faculty, staff, administrators, and the community have come together to celebrate all the accomplishments of the 2018 graduating class Hopkinsville Community College. We ask now for a special blessing to fall upon each individual graduate and their families who supported them through the many challenges and the successful moments of their academic process. Please God, continue to lead and guide the thoughts, the plans, and the initiatives 
of President Young and the faculty and staff of Hopkinsville Community College as we continue moving forward in our mission of higher education. Please, God, bless the words and thoughts of our speaker as she shares her gained wisdom and knowledge to the awaiting graduates in the congregation. Father God, as tonight's graduates propel themselves forward, it is my prayer that you, God, will direct their paths and you, God, will motivate them to achieve their desired future goals of life. As promised in your written word, please, God, never leave us nor forsake us and continue to allow bountiful blessings to show forth in all of our lives. We ask this prayer and all of the prayers in the name of our Lord and Savior, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Good evening and welcome to each of you here in the Bruce Center and to those watching the ceremony online. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Hopkinsville Community College, the College Board of Directors, and the Kentucky Community and Technical College System, we welcome you, the graduating class of 2018, parents, families, friends, to HCC's 52nd commencement ceremony. As a visual example of how lives and families are being changed forever this evening, would the graduates who are the first person in your immediate family to earn a college credential, please stand. First generation graduates, you may be seated. Congratulations to all our graduates. Tonight is your night, and let's set the celebration begin. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you HCC sixth president and CEO, Dr. Elisa Young. Good evening to each one of you. It is beautiful to look out and see you here tonight. I would just like to start by saying uh, welcome. On behalf of the faculty and the staff, of Hopkinsville Community College, welcome to the 52nd commencement of Hopkinsville Community College. It's my pleasure to preside over this important ceremony, the most significant in the academic year. Hopkinsville Community College would also like to take this opportunity to remember the brave men and women who have gallantly fought and died in service to our country. Fort Campbell is an integral part of the identity of HCC. We honor this very unique and special part of our college family. We call your attention to the empty chair in the front row of graduates that symbolizes the members of our armed forces who are listed as POWs and MIAs. Those of you in our audience or among our graduates who are currently or who have served in the military, any branch, I would ask if you would please stand at this time so that we may honor you. Thank you so very much for your service to our country. Tonight's ceremony serves as a capstone event for all of our graduates and we celebrate student learning. During the 2017-18 academic year, a total of 600, 700, excuse me, 68 students have applied for 1,198 credentials, which includes 502 two-year degrees, 653 certificates, and 43 diplomas. This statistic represents your hard work and dedication as well as the efforts of our faculty and our staff. The class of 2018 features five students who represent the first cohort to graduate from our new medical assisting program, and six students who represent the first cohort to graduate from our Kentucky Fame program, the Kentucky Federation for Advanced Manufacturing Education. 
We celebrated these trailblazers at our commencement reception earlier this evening. They are leading the way for many more successful graduates from these two programs in the future. Tonight, we also have members of the fifth graduating class of the Hopkinsville Rotary Scholars Program participating in the ceremony. This historic partnership, <clears throat> excuse me, this historic partnership between HCC and our local Rotary Club, which began with the 2012 graduating class, provides tuition-free scholarships to every student graduating from high school in Christian County. The Hopkinsville Rotary Club has provided over $1.1 million in support to students at HCC since 2009. The class of 2018 includes 42 graduates from the Rotary Scholars Program. As is often true in community colleges, there are so many compelling stories of how students have made it to this juncture in their educational journey. Dr. Warren has shared a few of those with me. Tonight, our youngest graduate, actually there are two, are 18 years old. Our oldest graduate tonight, 75 years old. We have uh, a student that, or a graduate that is graduating from both high school and Hopkinsville Community College at the same time. We have five different families who have students uh, within that same family that are graduating here tonight. And uh, let's see, Timothy Cook is an Army veteran who is a first generation student graduating with a family member tonight. That's exciting. And Sarah Burke Burkholder is graduating with her spouse tonight. So we celebrate you all, and we are excited that you are here. Again, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the college, we thank you for selecting Hopkinsville Community College and for the opportunity to engage you in the learning process. I challenge you to connect, to create, to create community wherever you go from here. And always, always remember your connection to Hopkinsville Community College from this moment forward. Congratulations and continued success tonight in tonight's graduates. Mr. Gary Logan currently serves as the chair of HCC's Board of Directors. Originally from Silex, Missouri, Gary holds a BS and an MA degree in, accountant, in accountancy. A Vietnam veteran, he retired with the rank of colonel in the Kentucky Air National Guard. He has 23 years of banking experience and has served as chief financial officer with Max Arnold and Sons for the past 18 years. Gary is married and has two grown children. Please welcome him tonight. Thank you, Dr. Young. I'd like to express our welcome from the Board of Directors, a welcome to the graduates. The graduates, this is a milepost in your career, in your life. Uh, it's a very important one, and we're very happy to be here and have you here with us tonight. Also, I'd like to give our thanks to the families the brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children of the graduates. Because of you, you have allowed your graduate to pursue a better life in the future. Because of you, you have, <clears throat> I know you have sacrificed. You've sacrificed vacations, birthdays. It's hard to tell what all, <laughs> anniversaries. Uh, but that sacrifice is come to fruition today when you see the graduation. And I'd like to thank the staff and the faculty of Hopkinsville Community College. You have produced the future. The future starts today. One time I said the future starts tomorrow and was corrected. The 
future starts today, and this is the future for our city, our state, our country. So we'll just say welcome to all of you. Glad to see you here. Thank you, Gary. Tonight's student speaker is HCC Student Government President and Student Represent Representative on the HCC Board of Directors, Aaron White. Aaron loves to identify himself as the middle child of proud, proud parents, Carol and Dorothea White, a lifelong resident of Hopkinsville and a 2014 graduate of Christian County High School. Aaron will graduate tonight with both Associate in Arts and Associate in Science degrees. This fall, Aaron plans to attend Murray State University, where he will major in social work. Aaron is known for his community involvement and his dedication to Means Avenue Baptist Church. He is active in choir, Salvation Army Outreach, and the YMCA after school program. At HCC, he was involved in the Minority Student Union, the Community Talent Showcase, where his step team skills were on full display a week, a week or so ago. Uh, we are going to miss Aaron's outgoing personality his charming character, and his humorous nature. Aaron never met a stranger and loves to make others happy about life. He regularly tries to convince others to always believe in themselves because he says he lives by the motto, great things will happen. HCC's SGA president, Aaron White. Good evening. Dr. Seuss once said, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. A quote by Dr. Seuss. This quote expresses how I have come to feel about my life and my education. When I arrived at Hopkinsville Community College from PA, those of who you, those that do not know, that means Penny Rail Apartments, I certainly did not know what I wanted to do or become but with the help of many mentors, membership in different organizations, and exposure to different college campuses, I have involved into who, I have involved into one who was found and not lost. I can only say HCC has given me many mentors and memories that I would cherish for life. For instance, who can make math into a mo game to keep students interested and involved, none other than Mr. Pat Riley. Mr. Riley has helped me have a better understanding that math can be interesting, fun, and it is important in life. Dr. Jarrell Burrell has taught me that friendships and bonds are key points in life to be valued and treasured. He kept me on task when it, was, when it wasn't easy for me to, remind, to remain on task, but the positive influence kept me striving to become a leader and not a follower. Dr. Burrell reminded me that the road isn't easy, but hard work, dedication, and with a little determination, the outcome will be worth the wait. Another special mentor to me has been Dr. Vernell Larkin. Dr. Larkin has guided me and literally drove me to thousands of meetings, but I have learned that with, with knowledge comes great education, and education can be used as power to understand different problems in life. Dr. Larkin has been a wonderful, and, uh, my bad, oops, uh, where am I? Oh, she has taken time out of her day to help me from cleaning up events or staying late at an event. I am greatly appreciative for you. In the end, we both know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am honored to represent the students of Hopkinsville Community College, and I also would like to say that there are so many other people that have helped me through my journey at HCC. I would like to thank everyone that has contributed to my success. I will end with a quote by Dr. Seuss. You are off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is great, so get on your way. And remember, great things are happening at HCC. Thank you. it all the time. Great things are happening at HCC. Thank you so much, Aaron. <laughs> Tonight's commencement speaker's personal journey is inspirational on many levels. We are so fortunate to hear from Eva's self this evening. I encourage you to take a moment to read her story printed on the back of tonight's commencement program. 
Originally from Concord, North Carolina, Eva graduated from Gardner-Webb University in 1984 with a degree in music education. For the next eight years, she worked as an area representative for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Although her primary vocation has been that of a wife and mother, Eva has been a regular featured speaker for many organizations. Her biography, Maybelle's Daughter, Overcoming Personal Tragedy with God's Strength and a Mother's Love, published by Thomas Nelson's publisher, is an inspiration to all. Eva is employed as an instructor in adult education at Hopkinsville Community College. She is married to Circuit Judge Andrew Self. The Selfs have two daughters, Abby and Audrey. Please join me in welcoming Eva Self. Thank you. It's an honor to be here and for you to introduce me. It means a lot to me. Oh, I'm choked up here at, here at home. Isn't this a great night? It's a, it's a great time to celebrate and I hope you guys are taking it in. I've enjoyed just watching your faces all night. I, I think there are things that need to be celebrated, and maybe at our house we celebrate maybe a little too much. Um, I remember when our younger daughter, Audrey, was really little, and she was learning how to put on her seatbelt. And one day, all four of us were in the car together, going somewhere, and she was in the back with her big sister, and we were waiting, and we heard the click put it on all by herself and we were all getting ready to clap and she said nobody cheer me nobody cheer me well not everybody wants to be celebrated everything but tonight is different tonight you are to be celebrated because you've worked you've learned a lot of things haven't you you learned a lot of things about a lot of different subjects but I'm confident that you already know least two things. In life, you have learned that there are times when you need to try harder, and there are times when you need to ask for help. Forty years ago, I was 17 years old and in my senior year in high school, and I was in a car accident that left me paralyzed. And life began all over again for Eva. And I had to learn how to do a lot of different things in life that I didn't know how to do. I went to a rehab hospital and I was there for three and a half months. And they helped me a lot. But the one who helped me the most was my precious mama. After I got out of the hospital and I was home, I remember one day in particular, she was coming in and out of my bedroom carrying pans of water because I just finished taking a sponge bath and I put my back brace on and I was buttoning up my shirt and she came back into the room and she had my blue jeans in her hand. She said, Eva, I want you to put these blue jeans on by yourself. I said, Mom, I can't do that right now. I've got this back brace on. When I get it off, I'll be able to do that. She said, no, I think you can and I want you to try to do it now. Well, I'm ashamed to tell you how I responded to my mama. I ended up ordering her out of the room, told her I didn't need her help ever and ever again. I'll get my friends to help me. But before she left that room, this is what she did. She stretched those jeans out on that bed. And I remember picking up my right, stiff, heavy, lifeless leg. And I shoved one into one pant leg. And then I shoved the other leg into the other side. I began to pull and twist and tug. And then I just became exhausted. Threw myself back down on the bed and I just cried a little more. I sat up again and I pulled him up a little bit further. Stopped and cried again. Finally, I got them all the way up to my hips. And I stopped again. This time I heard my mama cry. She was in the next room. She'd been there the whole time. And I realized how difficult it must have been for her to not help me. She really was helping me, wasn't she? Oh, if I could be a mama like that. If I could be an instructor like that, if I could be a friend like that, 
to know when to get in there and to help somebody and to know when to get out of God's way and let them struggle. Well, I want you to know that I got those blue jeans on and I transferred into my wheelchair and I rolled into the next room and I hugged my mama and I thanked her. And I just wonder, maybe in your life, maybe there's been somebody that's encouraged you to try harder. I don't know, maybe they're even here tonight. This be a good night, a good season for you to thank them. Well, let's fast forward a few more years after getting out of the hospital. I graduated from college, and I had a wonderful job working with a national organization. I was flying all over the country speaking. And I remember one day I flew into Indianapolis, Indiana, and my friend Jonna Braden picked me up at the airport. At that time, Jonna was the the volleyball coach at Butler University. And I spent the whole day with her. I had two speaking engagements. And then that evening, we were going to go to a hotel to meet up with other friends for a national convention. So later on, we went on to the hotel. We met up with two other friends. And we had enough time to go out to eat. So four of us were going out outside to the hotel. And then my friend, Jonna, stopped. She said, Eva, I left something back in the room. Why don't you all go on out, get in the car, and I'll be out there in a minute. So on the way out, I started thinking, you know, I've been with Jonna all day long, and whoever sits in the front seat is going to get to talk to Jonna more than anybody else, so I'm going to get in the back seat. But in order for me to get in the back seat of a four-door car, I need help. So I told my friends, Linda and Cindy, I said, hey, we, we're going to do this, just a two-man lift. Just one person get under my arms, somebody get under my knees, y'all just going to pick me up, put me in the back seat of that car. And you know what they did it they didn't drop me or anything so then over to the side everybody got in the car and they just left my wheelchair over to the side because we didn't have the keys to the trunk and we're just sitting in the car and we're laughing and talking and somehow females are kind of dubbed as talking a lot my husband even says even when you get together with your little girlfriends who listen i told him andrew it's a gift and you don't have it but we're talking and talking. We've been talking for a long time. And then finally, I'm scanning the parking lot, trying to figure out where Jonna is. And I look back, and, and she's standing in the parking lot. She looks like she's looking for us. And then she saw me. Our eyes met. And I could read her lips as we said together at the same time, wrong car. <laughs> I turned around, and I said, wrong car, wrong car. We're sitting in the wrong car. And Cindy's sitting in the front seat. She said, did you say wrong car? I said, I said wrong car. So she just opened up the door, got out, shut the door, and walked off. I'm sitting in the back with Linda. Now, Linda's this tall, beautiful tennis player from California. And Linda, I mean, she's a pretty girl, but all of a sudden to me, she looked like Barney Fife on the Andy Griffith Show. Because she started shaking all over. And she said, Eva, what do you want me to do? I said, I want you to get me out of this car. She jumped out of that side, ran around, opened up, picked me up like a championship wrestler and threw me into that wheelchair. Sometimes in life, you got to ask for help. I want to caution you, though. You need to ask the Lindas and not the Cindy's. <laughs> it's my prayer as you continue in life that with a humble heart, you would have the discernment to know harder and when to ask for help. Thank you. I, I think inspirational is an understatement. Thank you, Eva. Will the graduates who are members of the Alpha Delta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, please stand. Established in 1918, the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society serves to recognize and encourage the academic achievement of two-year college students and provide opportunities for individual growth and development. It is the largest and most prestigious honor society for two-year colleges 
consisting of over 1,250 chapters worldwide. Beginning at Bethel College in 1930, the local Alpha Delta chapter was the 24th chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, Kappa to be established. The charter was transferred to HCC in 1967, and our chapter is now the oldest in Kentucky and the eighth oldest chapter in the world. Phi Theta Kappa members must meet high academic standards and maintain high academic success. Alpha Delta graduates, always remember the three hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa, leadership, scholarship, and service. You may be seated. This year marks the 17th year for the Kentucky Community and Technical College System All Academic Team, which recognizes 32 of our system's most outstanding students from the 16 KCTCS institutions across the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Each KCTCS institution selects two students for the All Academic Team one outstanding student pursuing a transfer associate's degree and another student pursuing a technical program associate's degree. Facilitated by Phi Theta Kappa, faculty nominate the students. Selection is then made by a faculty committee. When I announce the winners, please come forward to receive your plaque from Dr. Young. Transfer Student Award winner is Sonia Marie Fox Rodriguez, who is completing the Associate in Art Transfer degree. technical student award winner is not able to be at the service this evening. Her name is Bianca McCarger and she is completing a practical nursing diploma. Given by the Alpha Delta chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, the Spirit Cup Award represents a tradition dating back to Bethel College in 1930 and has been upheld and continued at HCC. Students are nominated by HCC employees and chosen by a committee of faculty and staff. To be eligible for the Spirit Cup, the student must meet all of the following requirements. Be graduating with an associate degree, be actively involved in the college, have a, at least a 3.0 GPA, have demonstrated leadership ability, and be positive and enthusiastic about HCC. As the winners announced, I'll read a few excerpts from the recipient's nomination letter. This year's Spirit Cup winner is Joseph Ruff Harris, Jr. <laughs> Joe is a stellar example of a conscientious, determined, non-traditional student. He works a full-time second shift job, attends classes, raises his teenage daughter, and participates in community activities, all while maintaining the highest academic honors. Not only is he a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success, but he also is an inductee of Phi uh, Theta Kappa. He's a hardworking leader whom his classmates admire. Many of his professors often hold him as the gold standard. Joe earned his associates in a science degree this evening and has a goal of becoming a nutritionist. Congratulations, Joe.
Tonight's ceremony represents a very special moment, one we take very seriously at HCC. You will notice many traditions, symbols, and regalia, including the processional that you experienced early this evening. For example, the colors worn by the faculty and staff have a unique meaning in higher education. For a full explanation of the symbols and regalia used in tonight's ceremony, we invite you to consult your program. In order to maintain accuracy and academic integrity, official honors, high distinction and distinction, do not appear in tonight's printed commencement program. Recognition will, however, appear on the Associate in Arts, the Associate in Science, and the Associate in Applied Science diplomas upon candidates completion of academic coursework and final grade point average calculations. We now come to the presentation of the graduating class and the conferring of three associate degrees, the Associate in Arts degree, the Associate in Science degree, and the Associate in Applied Science degree along with a variety of certificates and diplomas. Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts degree, the Associate in Science degree, and the Associate in Applied Science degree, and the candidates for certificates and diplomas please rise? President Young, the faculty of Hopkinsville Community College has certified that these candidates have completed all of the requirements for their degree, certificate, or diploma. They are recommended to you for conferral of this degree, certificate, or diploma. By the authority vested in me by the President, and Board of Regents of the Kentucky Community and Technical College System. And on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the Associate in Arts degree, Associates in Science degree, Associate in Applied Science degree, certificate or diploma with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Brooklyn S. Meacham, Associate in Applied Science, Agricultural Studies. Logan E. Farrell, Associate in Arts. Kennedy Holloman, Associate in Science and Certificate. Brooklyn M. Met Wells, Associate in Science and Certificate. Freedom Cook, Associate in Arts. Riley Madison Fournay, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration and Certificates. Julie Annette Perel, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Assisting, Diploma and Certificates. Jada Lachey Edelin, Associate in Applied Science and Medical Assisting, Diploma and Certificates. Michaela Regan Moore, Associate in Applied Science and Medical Assisting, Diploma and Certificates. Tracy Patterson, Associate in Applied Science and Medical Assisting, Diploma and Certificates. 
Roberto Garcia Chavez, Associate in Applied Science and Medical Assisting, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Diploma and Certificates. Joseph Ruff Harris, Jr., Associate in Science. Demetrius Spencer Hobbs, Associate in Arts. Ashley Cheyenne Green, Associate in Science. Cassandra Hampton, Associate in Arts. Gina Bailey, Associate in Arts. Amanda Jo Carpenter, Associate in Applied Science and Business Administration and Certificates. Kaisha Monique McKnight Lowe, Certificate. Miracle Blossom Willer, Certificate and Associate in Science. Alyssa Marie Welch, Associate in Arts. Lawanda Shrundra Marks, Associate in Applied Science in Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificates. Michelle Renee Daniel, Associate in Science. Andrew Bryant Bond, Associate in Arts. Jasmine Marie Daniels, Certificate. Sarah Catherine Davis, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration and Certificates. Samantha Marie Cheeseman, Associate in Science. Heather N. Poe, Certificate. Naomi Moore, Associate in Arts. Bailey Morgan Peterson, Associate in Applied Science in Agricultural Studies. Nathan John Burkholder, Associate in Science. Sarah Ann Burkholder, Associate in Science. Darlene Ray Barnett, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificates. Allison K. Rogers, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing. Brittany Jackson, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing. Danielle Gabrielle Carl, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing and Associate in Arts. Joy Bartle, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing, Associate in Arts, and Associate in Science. Woo! Carrie Jane Coleman, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing. Yeah! Alexandra Croxon, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing, and Associate in Science. Kiera Deshawn Jones, Associate in Science and Diploma. <laughs> Keila Latmea Moore, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing and Associate in Science. Kazia Leah Magunga, Associate in Applied Science in Nursing.
Howard James Craddock, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration and Certificates. Bridget Ann Coots, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration, Administrative Office Tech, and Certificates. Shelby Tacoma Hyatt, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration and Certificates. Natalia Rogers, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration and Certificate. Colleen Marie Gravely, Associate in Arts. Christy Johnson, Associate in Science. Catherine Brooke Wright, Associate in Science. Ashley Faith Williams, Associate in Science. Kimber Page Archer, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Certificate. Fatima Daniela Brito, Certificate. Miguel Giovanni Giuseppe Pica, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Victor Lacorgas Craven, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology and Certificates. Hector Aniel Maldonado, Associate in Applied Science in Criminal Justice and Certificate. Danielle Nicole Mims, Associate in Applied Science in Criminal Justice and Certificates. Jeanette Cheska Burney, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificate. Jasmine Lachey Wharton, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificates. Dorothy Abshire Tolliver, Certificates. <laughs> Timothy Cook, Associate in Arts. Jennifer Sue McGittigan, Associate in Arts. Corianne A. Kelly, Associate in Science and Certificate. Crystal Westbrooks, Associate in Science and Certificate. Jessica L. Sullivan, Associate in Applied Science in Computer and Information Technology. Jennifer Marie Dominguez, Associate in Science. Amanda Michelle Sajak, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Zach Alleman, Associate in Arts. Jeremy Dale Adams, Associate in Arts. Kristen Denise Sparks, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Certificate. Curtis Kanzler III, Associate in Arts. Jennifer Denise McIntyre, Associate in Science, and Certificate. Courtney Marie Plesha, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. 
Stacy Nicole Palmer, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Ricky Thomas Shaw, Associate in Arts. Ayana T. Woodard, Associate in Arts. Dominique D. Long, Associate in Science, in Certificates, in Phlebotomy and Medical Terminology. Shanitra Janine Grimes, Associate in Applied Science and Human Services and Associate in Arts. Tish Lewis, Associate in Arts. Kayla Renee Reyes, Associate in Science. Lindsay McCraw, Associate in Arts. Kristen Michelle Skinner, Associate in Applied Science and Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificates. Sierra Aiken, Associate in Science. Lily Faye Townsend, Associate in Applied Science in Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificates. Veronica Mann, Associate in Science. Nancy Yamilex Berrigan, Associate in Science and Diploma. Joshua Wendell Thomas, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Samantha K. Gross, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science and Certificates. Shelby Nicole Sadler, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Rhonda Michelle Herring, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificates. Sonia Marie Fox Rodriguez, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Tabitha G. Rollins, Associate in Science and Certificate. Cody Marie Hill, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Mandy Lee Booker, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificates. Karen Francis Smith, Associate in Applied Science in Administrative Office Technology and Certificates. Jenna Marie Jones, Associate in Applied Science in Business Administration and Certificates. Jamie Cornett, Associate in Arts. Ebony Nicole Los, Associate in Applied Science in Medical Information Technology, Diploma and Certificates. Jalen Martez Hobson, Associate in Applied Science in Criminal Justice and Certificates. Alex K. Frazier, Associate in Arts. Jewel G. Cumby, Associate in Arts. Jalisha Nelson, Associate in Science. Rebecca Abel, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science.
Odessa W. Terry, Associate in Arts. Savannah Marie Finzel, Associate in Arts. Carissa Yolanda Castleberry, Associate in Arts. Jordan Wesley LaFortune, Associate in Science. Sarah Elaine Bell, Associate in Science. Pamela Ann Stratton, Associate in Science. Olivia Brooke Means, Associate in Arts. Arenze Akpom, Associate in Science. Caitlin N. Baker, Associate in Science. Alexandria Lene Smith, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Tad Ossenbaugh, Associate in Science. Gabrielle Renee Dooley, Associate in Arts. Shayla Cheyenne McCullough, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science. Catherine Blair DuPont, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Stephanie Marsh, Associate in Arts. Dale Shannon Lamire, Associate in Arts. Elizabeth Herndon Bruce, Associate in Applied Science and Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificates. Robin Lee Blake, Associate in Arts. Rachel Michaela Blake, Associate in Arts. Alejandro Enrique Lopez, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Deandra, Deandrea Sheree Sharber, Associate in Arts. Tierney Shamea Janae Bumpus, Associate in Science. Maya McCarley, Associate in Applied Science and Health Science Technology and Certificates. Lorna Dune Patino, Associate in Science. Christina Kenny, Associate in Arts. Michael Witt Bruce Jr., Associate in Arts. Jeffrey Christopher Wells, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. Giovanni Antonio Rangel, Associate in Arts. Ruben Dario Soto Cantalejo, Associate in Science. Tristan Goodwin, Associate in Science. William Blake Carnahan, Associate in Applied Science and Industrial Maintenance Technology and Certificates. 
Andrew Mitchell Terrell, Associate in Applied Science and Industrial Maintenance Technology and Certificates. Jesse Riggle, Associate in Applied Science in Electrical Technology. Jessica Denae McKnight, Associate in Arts. Melissa Reyes Polino, Associate in Arts and Certificate. Nanette Vines, Certificates. Tanya Nicole Cooper, Associate in Applied Science in Human Services. Gavin Marcella Spencer, Associate in Applied Science in Computer and Information Technology. Darian Benjamin Brona, Associate in Arts. David Thomas Hauser, Associate in Applied Science in Criminal Justice and Certificate. Bradley David Tucker, Associate in Arts. Summer Grace Armstrong, Associate in Applied Science in Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificates. Kristen Leanne Coleman, Associate in Applied Science in Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificate. Gwendolyn K. Tremblay, Associate in Applied Science in Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificates. Jessica Tabitha McGee, Associate in Applied Science in Interdisciplinary Early Childhood Education, Diploma and Certificates. Fidel Antonio Restrepo, Associate in Applied Science in Computer and Information Technology and Certificates. Krista Blevins, Certificate. Matthew McKinley Bryan, Associate in Applied Science in Industrial Maintenance Technology and Certificates. William Colby Frazier, Associate in Applied Science in Industrial Maintenance Technology and Certificates. Chance Reed Oliver, Associate in Applied Science in Industrial Maintenance Technology and Certificates. Darren Ray Hutchison, Associate in Applied Science in Industrial Maintenance Technology and Certificates. Aaron Nathaniel White, Associate in Arts and Associate in Science. the graduates please rise <laughs> on behalf of the faculty administrators staff and board of directors it is a pleasure to present the Hopkinsville Community College Class of 2018. Graduates, you may move your tassels from your right to your left. At this time, I would ask everyone to please rise and remain standing during the recessional. 
The platform party and faculty will form a wall of honor through which the graduates will exit. Please honor our graduates by remaining at your seat until the last graduate has left the room and follow the guidance provided by our ushers. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.